Hello everyone. This video is one video out of three. This video is specifically things I want to do more or less of in 2019 and this is the health edition. So I do have a finance and personal development edition which I will link down below. I have two separate videos and then I also have three blog posts with all of this information and you know further explanation of everything. So if you're interested, those links will also be down below. I have two major goals this year, and one is to increase my income from my side hustles. So I would like to earn about $12,000 total from my side hustles. It's about $1,000 a month, but you know, just overall, I would like to make 12,000. And then my other goal is to pay off more debt, more specifically pay off my car completely. So I owe about $17,000 left on my car and that is my other major goal. And I would like to pay that off completely by December 2019. Now, all of these things aren't specific goals in particular, because as we all know, we should set goals that are specific and time bound, measurable, etc. But these are just kind of intentions and just things I want to be aware of in my life, but I'm not going to be so strict about it because first of all, it's like, 30 different goals or intentions and that would just be way too much but these are just things I kind of want to keep track of or just pay attention to more in my life. So let's jump into it. I have my laptop here because I have it all on my blog. So for health and fitness the first thing I would like to do more of is hiking. I would like to go hiking at least once a month. I haven't gone hiking in months, possibly even like a year. and. It rains a lot here in Georgia, but I definitely want to make time more for hiking because I really do enjoy it. And I just like that I can get out in nature and get some exercise. So my goal is to hike at least once a month. I also want to take more walks. I have the Fitbit and it does keep track of your steps. And honestly, I only hit about 6,000 to 8,000 steps a day. I work at a job where if I am standing, I am just standing most of the day. I don't walk around too much. And then parts of the day I sit at a desk. And the most that I am active is when I'm at the gym, of course. So I try to do cardio a lot just to get in, you know, my steps and, and just to get, you know, my, my cardio. But I do want to take more walks, walk my dogs more. I may start walking on my lunch breaks for like 15 minutes around the campus that I work at. Again, the thing is that it's rainy and cold a lot here in Georgia, so it also depends on that, but I can find ways to work around it at work, uh, walking inside and things like that. So definitely want to aim for 10,000 steps a day, but again, I'm not going to be like crazy strict about it. I want to take more baths. I haven't taken a bath in a very long time and for a while i think about a year ago i was taking baths about every month and i just really like them and they're relaxing and i just kind of miss it so same with hiking i want to take a bath once a month at least drink more water at my job it's so cold like everywhere that i go and that's inside of course so when i have my water with me i tend to ignore it because it's so cold in there that when i drink it it makes me even more cold. Um, one thing that I have been doing is drinking 16 ounces of room temperature water as soon as I wake up. So I drink about half of it right when I wake up and then the other half as I'm getting ready for the day before I eat breakfast. And that helps a ton. That's 16 ounces out of the way right away. Uh, the other thing is that I got a thermos for Christmas. My sister got me a 40 ounce thermos, which can keep things hot or cold. And I have been putting tea in it and I finished that throughout my whole work day. So that's another 40 ounces of water. I don't put sugar or anything, so I still consider that water. Plus when I work out, I usually drink about 30 to 40 ounces of my water there too. So that's a pretty good amount of water for me. Um, I used to drink a gallon of water per day, but I'm gonna aim for at least half a gallon. I want to stretch more. And I stretch pretty good before leg day, especially at the gym, and I warm up. I foam roll, I stretch pretty well, but I also want to start stretching after I work out because I know that's more beneficial. And then I think I want to start making it part of like a night routine where I can just stretch for 10 minutes and maybe read or talk to my boyfriend on the phone or do something while I'm stretching. Um, it's something that I tend to put off a lot just because it's 
like a chore almost, but I do want to work on my flexibility and, and it's just healthy and keeps your body functioning how it should. So more stretching. This is a big one. I need to improve my sleep and sleep more. I have trouble staying asleep and it's the most frustrating thing. And I think my problem is that I'm afraid that my alarm won't, won't go off. I'm not really sure because I have the biggest problem during the week when I have to go to work. So when it's like the weekend, I don't wake up as often when I'm sleeping. And my Fitbit also tracks my sleep and I can see all the times that I wake up and I can remember when I wake up. And I also, when I'm dreaming, I remember those dreams and it makes me sleep really poorly. I have tried sleep aids, I've tried tea, I've tried, you know, no electronics before bed, I have blue light glasses, and those things sometimes help, but I also cannot sleep through most nights, and it's very frustrating. So I do want to make my sleep a priority. Again, I wanted to kind of get into a night routine where I really start winding down and calming down for sleep, and hopefully I can get better sleep because I go to bed around 9.30 and I wake up around 4.30. So I should be able to get about seven, seven and a half hours of sleep, but really I'm getting like six to six and a half because I'm awake so much of the night. So that's not healthy and I can feel the effects of it throughout the whole week and into the weekend and I hate it. So if you have any sleep suggestions, please let me know. Another big one is I want to consume less sugar. I have a huge sweet tooth and I could eat sweets every single day of my life. I definitely limit myself and I don't give in to my cravings every time. But when I have like a batch of cookies, I will eat the whole batch of cookies just because I, I like, I don't even care. It's like a different person takes over me and I'll eat everything in sight. But I really want to pay attention to how much I'm consuming. I have already switched over to a sugar-free, like no sugar added coffee creamer and it does not taste good. So I'm like honestly just going to tea and not even drinking coffee as much anymore. So that's one step that I'm taking. I'm also starting a new meal plan for the next two months and you know my goal is to really stick to it and I want to lose weight and just curb my cravings and get out of that sugar craving all the time. But if I follow that, that will help me reduce my sugar craving as well because it's like a very specific meal plan. I would like to weigh myself less because I got into the habit of weighing myself every single day. And this really took a toll on me in the summer when I was trying to cut and you can go back to those, those months uh, like April, May, June when I was cutting and I could not lose weight to save my life, which is part of why I paid someone to create a meal plan and a workout plan for me for January and February and hopefully I'll continue it on. I'm not sure yet. I gotta see what happens. But I was weighing myself every day and I wasn't seeing results and I would literally want to cry like leaving the gym because I don't have a scale at home but I would go to the gym and weigh myself and I just got into a really bad mental state and had an unhealthy relationship with the scale. And I've definitely already stopped weighing myself as much. Like, I, I don't care as much right now, but I think it's just unhealthy to weigh yourself every day anyway. So I'm gonna stick to weighing myself uh, once a week. Once a week or once every two weeks, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm not in like a, I don't have a very unhealthy relationship with the scale right now, but I think it will just be best to not weigh myself every day. And the last one is that I wanna take shorter and cooler showers. I take a shower every morning and every night. Sometimes I take a third shower and I'm not like a clean freak or anything like that. That's just what I prefer to do. I've gotten into the routine of it. And in the mornings, I would sometimes take like 10, 15 minute showers. And in the evenings, it could be about the same, sometimes longer if I'm washing my hair. I did read an article about how like we shower too much and it should be every other day or something, but I think that's disgusting and I could never do that. Um, and I read about how if your showers are too hot or too long that you're like stripping the natural oils and I definitely take way too hot of showers so I've been making them warm not too hot and I put a timer on in the morning for six minutes and I have to get out before the timer ends of course so it's enough time for me to just like you know get the main parts wash my face and just like rinse off because I'm not that dirty in the morning. It's just I enjoy taking a shower in the morning. And then after I get home from the gym and shower, I 
we'll set a timer for 10 minutes and I have to finish within 10 minutes. And if I'm washing my hair, I give myself a little bit more time, like 15 minutes or so, because that takes longer. Um, but yeah, it's helped my skin a ton. Like I get really dry skin in the winter. So shorter showers and warm showers, not burning hot. Those are the main things I want to do for my health and fitness in 2019. Again, go check out my video for my finances and personal development. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot this year um, just on my stories and in actual posts with captions and things to explain everything. And I kind of want to keep track of everything that I'm doing so that I can see if I'm making any progress and how disciplined I can be. Comment down below what your intentions or goals are in regards to health and fitness, and I'll see you guys soon.